Uh, Brian, regarding Richard Branson yes. and rockets, uh, Virgin Galactic completed the second rocket-powered flight of its Unity spacecraft uh, back in May. It reached 114,000 feet, and he hopes to uh, have space tourism as part of his country. But here's company. the problem. Was there anyone in that rocket? I uh, don't know. No cockpit? You're not going to get me in there. Test. I don't think you're invited. Right. <laughs> Just say. If so anyway, you do, take is, a camera with you. I will. Gonna see. Absolutely. We'll make you. it a segment. Right. Would he you is actually being do it? successful at it. Would you actually do it? If they were better at it. Uh, they're not that good at it. Oh, I'd be a nervous you. rat. Okay, good job, guys. That's awesome. Thank you. Today's their uh, 71st anniversary. No, happy Air birthday, Air Force. All right, uh, heavily, uh, heavily taxed these days. If you think about it, they had to enforce the no-fly zone after the Persian Gulf War, the first one over a series of years, mm -hmm. and now they're still being asked in Syria. Uh, to it. Every time you see a bombing run, every time you see something in force, that's the Air Force. And helping here at home, too, with Florence and the yep. recovery efforts. Indeed. Uh, happy 71st anniversary to you. It was the 70th anniversary of the Emmy Awards on television last night. Not surprisingly, they got political, but were they funny? My mother's not watching. What? Well, she said she doesn't like watching white award shows because you guys don't thank Jesus enough. The only white people that thank Jesus are Republicans and ex-crackheads. Hmm. Was that funny? Well, they did not mention Donald Trump much. Uh, they kind of kept him off, but they did go a little bit political. Warren Michaels, first time, he's trying to up the ratings. I think they got 11 share or 11 uh, rating last year. But this year, they're trying to bring it up a notch. And Lorne Michaels had the whole cast there mm -hmm. spread out through the entire Those thing. were the guys who do the weekend update. We asked you earlier what you thought about it, and we got all sorts of responses. Deb tweeted us this. That's why I don't watch award shows anymore. One of the show's really good friends, Henry Winkler, That's after right. yes. 35 years finally or something. Got his Emmy. He finally got his Emmy. Mm -hmm. That's right. He said he wrote his speech decades ago. Yeah, when he was fond <laughs> right. That's right. Uh, this was for the TV show uh, Barry. He won Best Actor in a Supporting Role. And he said, uh, somebody said, once stay at the table uh, long enough and the chips will come to you. And last night he said, tonight I got to clear the table. So, that was Henry great. Winkler, congratulations. congratulations. Hey. Right. No, I mean, it's hard to believe that he could play Fonzie and not win an award. He was brilliant in that. Well, there you go. Don't you, you think love that show. I do. Not I a big know. pot. I, mean, I thought, I thought Potsy overrated. Mm. Ralph Mouth could have used okay. more lines. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, it's good to have this analysis like 50 years off. <laughs> right. Sorry, you here. never asked me for it. Ainsley <laughs> kind of asked. <laughs> All right. So anyway, uh, keep the comments coming. What did you think of the Emmys? If you watched it, email us friends at foxnews.com. Well, they might look beautiful, but the elk in Yellowstone National Park are on the attack. Get over the fence. Look at that thing. Tourists running from the angry wild animal in Wyoming. It's unclear what, if anything, provoked the elk.